One day there was a man, he was sitting with me on an aircraft. He told me, do you believe in evolution? I told him, what's that? Trust me, even he did not know. He didn't know. He told me, we are from apes. I said, I'm from Adam. Maybe you're from the ape. I am from Adam. Maybe you're from the ape. Subhanallah. So he said, no, 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 we are from apes. I said, so why are there still apes on earth? It's a question. And why the apes on earth are not changing to man? By now should be no more apes. Anyway, that discussion ended in a nice way, in a very beautiful way. And what we agreed is we have to also respect those apes. Not because they are his grandfathers, but, but because it's a creation of Allah. Human beings, we are part of one family. Human beings are part of one family, no matter what. There are so many connections between you and me, right? The first original connection is the fact that you are the children of Adam. Now this would include Muslim, non-Muslim, no matter where you are, no matter how you think, how close or far you are from Allah, the sinful, the not so sinful, those who are very sinful, all of those, no matter who you are, I have to acknowledge we are from Adam and we are created by Allah from the dust, the soil and so on. And Hawa is our mother and so on. I have to agree. So there is a connection. If there is a connection, even if I do not like what you are doing, or even if I disagree with you, I need to offer you minimum respect. Because if I'm a Muslim, for example, I have discovered Allah and I worship my maker alone. I need to love that goodness for everyone else. And I will not be able to communicate that goodness with other people if I don't have a connection or any respect between me and them. How can I convey the message I have if I have no respect for anyone? No, my brother, carry yourself with respect. Continue. If you disagree, you disagree. I can disagree with you very strongly. Like this brother who was telling me about apes. I disagree very strongly, but we made a joke about it. We laughed and he started to laugh and so on. I told him, I see this and it went on quite a bit. But end of the day, I managed to get my word in. You understand what I'm saying? Why? Because we respect. I didn't say, oh, you know, no swearing, no abuse, no matter who they are. A believer does not say swear words with his or her mouth. A believer does not utter falsehoods, does not hurt people. Intentionally, you are swearing, abusing. You are not allowed to do it even with those who are far away. Allah says, وَلَا تَسُبُّ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ don't mock at or joke about or abuse those who are worshipping deities and gods besides Allah because then they will also have a reaction and they will start to abuse and mock and joke about Allah without knowledge. Subhanallah Rabbil Alameen.